Let us now get into the third topic of the session today. We will look at what is McKinsey's 7S framework. What does he mean by 7S? He talks about the shared value, the skills, the staff and the style. Now these four S are the soft skill of an organization. The shared values, what sort of a value that the firm can produce internally and externally. What sort of skill the, the particular firm has, the organization has, becomes very, very important. What sort of a staff the organization is recruiting and what sort of a style the organization has becomes very, very important. Now, when he talks about these four aspects of four S's, these are known as the soft skills, whereas you have the hard skill in the form of structure, systems and the strategy. What sort of a strategy you are going to adopt against the competitive product? What sort of a strategy you are going to adopt as far as the marketing is concerned? What is the structure of your organization? What is the structure of your particular uh, in uh, the organization that you want to take and what are the systems that you follow? What is the process that you're following, following in order to go ahead and get a proper design of the organization? So when I say strategy, it is the direction in which the, pro the organization is moving or in the in direction in which a particular product is being promoted. Whereas in the case of a structure is what sort of, what sort of a decision ma making power a person has who is the authority to make a decision? Who is the person in charge of making a particular decision? It becomes very, very important. Are you giving the decision making power to a middle, middle level manager or are you giving the decision making power to a higher level manager? This becomes very, very important. As far as the systems is concerned, what is the type of process and what is the type of information that you have? What is the type of information that you are expecting and what is the process you are adopting? Now, all these three hard skill can be can be utilized properly in order for an organization to grow and this helps in the proper reward, reward and performance of the organization when it is reward it's a motivation when it is a performance it is a result of the organization so you need to provide reward to get a proper performance you need to have these three hard skills also in a proper style proper shape in order to go ahead and have the growth for the organization at the same time you cannot neglect the soft skill aspects as far as the organization is concerned the shared values the the skills the staff and the style in which you are promoting your product it becomes very very important as far as to have a proper combination of both the soft skill as well as the hard skill